How to replace your pull cord on your Troy Belt TV 230. First, I'm going to start. Everything's pretty much already done. I'm just going through the instructions for the video. You're going to loosen this bolt and bring down your pull cord unless it's already broken snapped whatever then you're going to use a phillips head screwdriver well, you're going to need a phillips head screwdriver an eight millimeter socket and a 10 millimeter socket and if you want an extension but i did everything without an extension and i used deep sockets anyways you're going to take out these two phillips head screws and you're going to set this aside Then you're going to take out three bolts. They're all eight millimeter bolts. There was one here, here, and here. On the side, there's two bolts. There's one You're going to take out the left side bolt. The right side is just like a heat shield or something. After you get that fourth bolt out, you're going to take the gas tank off and just set it aside. Hopefully, you didn't just fill it up, which is not a big deal if you have a tight cap. Then you're going to take off the cover. You're going to get your 10 mil socket. You're going to remove these two bolts right here and right here. Hopefully you can see that. And on the back side, there's two more bolts right here and right here. Okay, we can see those. Then you'll take and you'll flip the whole assembly. Well, first you gotta take your eight mil socket and you gotta undo your oil pan dipstick thing. Pull it up just a little bit. I wouldn't pull it all the way out unless you clean all the debris away first. Spin it away and push it back in. That way it's out of the way. Then you'll take and you'll flip this assembly over. Now, if your line is not already snapped, I'd recommend a pair of scissors rather than trying to untie the knot. All I did was I pulled out the string all the way. I stuck a screwdriver down in the best slot combination to keep the hole lined up. I cut the old string off and then I put the new string in through, fed it through. I had to actually cut the end off because where it was melted, it was too big to fit through the inner hole. So I cut that off and I forced it through and then I tied a knot and then I let it retract itself in. If your line is snapped, I would recommend spinning it about six times and make sure you line that hole up with the hole over here where the pull handle is and then you stick your string in tie the knot and then let it retract back in then assembly is the reverse once you get the cover back on you're gonna take you're gonna put these two bolts back in I start them by hand that way there's less chance of destroying the threads. And I'm going to hand thread these two bolts in.
I'm right-handed, by the way. Just in case you were wondering why I suck at this. Okay, I'm gonna tighten those up and then I'll continue on with the video. I roughly made sure to just hand torque them all about the same. Next, you're gonna do your, fix your oil dipstick. So I'm just gonna pull that up just a little bit, pop it back into place, push her back in, and then redo the little eight millimeter bolt that holds that in. Then we're gonna take and put the gas tank back on. I'll be back. Make sure when you're doing the top that you got these three little bolts for Again, here, here, and right there. And don't forget your side bolt for the side of the gas tank, which looks like this bad boy. Down here is the gas tank bolt that you need to take out right there. And I just put it back. You put the cover back on, and then you test her out. Thankfully, mine has a nice little handy slot. Others, you'll have to feed the handle through the hole. Put these two screws back in. This is what the screws look like for the top. So, after installing the cover, you gotta take, I'm pretty sure, you gotta hold this red handle down before you go pulling the pull cord out. To attach it back up here. Woo! Tighten her back up. Give her a yank. 